Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for the uh, uh, gap of silence that that just was. My dumbass forgot to hit the unmute button because I suck. I apologize for the last one minute and 27 seconds of pure unadulterated silence. I know I suck. But we have another article here for you, we, another fun little thing. Eight hidden mechanics players might have missed. Let's see how, like, sur like scratching the surface this is and, like, if I actually learn anything from this. Because me and my partner have played Baldur's Gate in a legal amount. Um, so let's get started on this, shall we? First of all, tr switching between trading and bartering. I knew about that. Honestly, why would you ever really want to trade in the first place? Like... It's nice to it's nice to do like the fallout thing of also like giving a bunch of of stuff over to like raise the amount of money you'll get back. Coding your weapons is cool and all, and I knew you could do this. I just I don't know. It's like I'm bad at prepping, but that's fair. Forcing companions to jump. Uh, too many players had to undergo the frustrations of jumping again, having a companion refuse to follow. Instead of switching to that companion, forcing them to jump is actually a much easier solution to this. Huh, this is different. Let's actually see. Usually they just need that extra trigger to catch up. Players should select their own character and they'll select the action to jump in place. This should give the companion a... That's actually, not, I, that's actually a nice little tidbit of information. I did not know that. Let's go. Uh, summoning. Yeah, I knew you can, you can basically summon everything. Wizards and Druids especially are really great at just summoning fuck off amount of summons they're great it's like wonderful granted i don't really need that at this point in time because i got a mod that allows me to bring like everybody in camp with me but that's just me extra loot from dead bodies pick up the corpses and add them to a commonly missed mechanic is collecting unlootable items from dead bodies. While players can take all the normal ones from the dead, there's still a few more things to take. To get them, players need to pick up a dead body and check their own character inventory, clicking into their equipment slots. They should be able to see a new item that's marked as equipped. To get it, they need to equip any item that's already in that equipment slot, then select a... I might need to look up a tutorial for that. See interactive items. Oh! Yeah. Oh yeah, left alt. Yeah, I already knew about that. Send to camp. Send, yeah, I already knew about sending a thing to, to the travel's chest. I already knew about activating turn-based mode. How the fuck? Like, it's a it's a giant fucking circle in the middle. Like, you can, it's a button you can click to turn on turn-based mode. That's how you freaking survive, man. Also, it forces you into it at times, so, like, you eventually figure it out on some level. Yeah, I don't understand that. That's, um, yeah. This is a perfectly fine, I guess, article. Um... Again, all of these are, if you want to read through these articles yourselves, they are uh, po at day of recording and posting. They are usually posted as individual um, uh, forum posts in the general forum on my Discord. So bear that in mind. 